Well hello and welcome to Physics Games. Have you ever spawned into a new game in the most annoying place? You can in fact choose where you spawn on any map. I will show you how to get the coordinates you need, how to add the new spawn points and how you can see the spawn points on a map. So let's begin with joining the map that you want to play on and let's turn off all zombies so we don't get any interference whilst we're doing this. So I'm going to press F1 and I'm going to type in DM and hit enter. This is going to enter debug mode. I'm going to press F1 again to get out of there. By pressing Q, we're now in God mode and holding space. I can get myself up into the air. It gets a little bit annoying trying to find out um, what you can see because of all the fog. So F1 again, I can type weather, fog, zero. And if I do that, then I get to see all the different places. And I can see the lovely green zone over there, the pine forest where I actually want to start. So I'm going to basically whilst up in the air, hold shift and Q. And every time I do, I jump forward a bit. I look around and find somewhere that could be a good spawn point, And I think to myself, I want to be right here, kind of in between this snow little town and this little pine little town here, maybe right on the road there. So we get down onto the ground and we make sure that we're out of God mode and we're standing there. Of course, if you do sprain your leg, just hit God mode and then come out again by pressing Q and it will all disappear. So we get ourselves into the position that we want and we think, OK, I'll fancy maybe a little bit down the road here, just kind of viewing over this area here. Now, we do have debug mode activated, which means that when I press F3, this menu of information appears on the left hand side. And at the top there, it says player with X, Y, Z coordinates and ROT, which stands for rotation. Those numbers there, the first three numbers that you have on each line, that's what we need to write down so we can bring that to the XML and place this as a spawn point. So now we navigate to our user directory in Windows, the app data roaming, seven days to die, generated worlds, and then the actual name for the map when you get some funny names in seven days to die. But here's the one that I was just using. And we're looking for the spawn points XML file that's there. Now you could be using something like I am here, notepad plus plus. But if you don't have anything like this, then just right click, click open with and hit notepad. This will bring up notepad. And in here, you'll be able to see all the spawn points that the game has given in the map. Today, we only want one of them. So I'm just going to take all of these and I'm going to delete them if you ever want to add more then all you've got to do is quite simply highlight the line and copy and paste that line editing the values as you go so now we've got rid of all the other ones i'm going to edit these numbers this is your x this is your y this is your z and then these are your rotation values i'm going to edit them to the same as we had in game now i've just added those in those x y and z coordinates be very careful about the negative signs if you miss them it will go awry very quickly and for the rotation you only really need to change the middle number unless you're desperate to kind of look up or down with this first one and the last one will always be zero don't worry that in game when you've pressed f3 it says 0, 0.0 you do not have to use that i just like to change just the center one to the number that i want and i'll know i'll always be facing forward make sure you hit save and then close this down you're going to be left with all the same files you had before but this time when you decide to start a new game you'll always spawn at that one one point so let's try it out and look at that we have spawned in exactly the position we want on this little part of road overlooking that little village or town over there anyone who joins your game with you a friend or if this is on a server will spawn at that point so they could all head off in the same direction together now in order to see the spawn points that is available on a map then i like to use a 7d to d map preview which is an old piece of software and if you can't find it online then you can get it from my discord i've got a copy there links are down below so once you've got this open then it automatically tells you where your game folder is going to be and we need to select the world folder so here we are back in the world folder where the map is with our edited spawn points and here is the folder system that it's going to be used in i'm going to click on here and i'm going to copy this now back to the software we select world folder and down the bottom i'm going to right click and paste what I copied there with the map location, select that folder, and then I am going to take away the legend. I'm going to make sure spawn point is ticked, and then I'm going to generate preview. So in a matter of a few seconds, we end up with a map 
of everything that we've got here and what we're looking for is the bit in the green zone where we spawn and these spawn points if there's multiple of them they'll all have a little little x and x marks a spot and here we go just on that part of the road overlooking this town and in your world folder you will have this preview portable network graphics file which is wonderful because not only does it show the little x where you're going to spawn it also shows the whole map which everyone always seems to need to do if you enjoyed the video today then of course make sure that you hit all the nice buttons and uh, leave a comment too but your subscription i hope has been earned because that's what we need to increase in order to get these videos out and give me the opportunity to make many many more thank you for the members of my channel that is a wonderful way you can support too and i'll see you very soon goodbye